sips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. You alive. Listening to Free right Radio Provo. The dramatic shift and change in one's My name is Pepper, the hip hop anarchist. That deviates the next hour. We take are on about the status quo. Challenge every perception and mentally forever. fuck <laughs> your psychosis. A content you're about to listen to will, for all sakes and purposes, fuck you up. Daring you to ask the questions that no one wants answered. This truth cannot be unlearned. Proceed to listen at your own discretion. Yo. I enter the room in such a dramatic fashion Smacking Governor Herbert in the face Say, what the fuck is happening? Agent 47, bred by wolves and hit assassins Breathing flames like fucking dragons Or with Morphe's and Aladdin To the system I shall ravage Scandinavian savage Linked up with Zulu warriors from the Middle Passage Situation is drastic My style is so fantastic Eons from now, hip-hop will call me a fucking classic The watchers I am on for supplying the rev alarms To the lost children of Beirut, Syria, and Lebanon Where the the nation starts colliding, civilians start dying, NSA is caught spying, local police are terrorizing, the disrespect, the truth, become the disaffected groups, don't be crying for the youth if you ain't dying for the truth, freedom fighter terrorist perspective is the only difference, so I say fuck you movement, I stand with the resistance, conflict settles down, war machine becomes lifeless, the government needs a crisis, so they perpetrate the ISIS, the pen I am the nicest, my style, you cannot bite this, me and hip hop go together like senators and gas prices, word, Radical thought, radical ways of thinking, radical ways of acting, and radical ways of speaking. The bullet is the price for the freedom that's bought. The revolution must be taught, or the cause is forever lost. Radical thought, radical ways of thinking, radical ways of Shout acting. Shout out to my Salt Lake City radicals. The bullet Protesting is the price Donald Trump's for the freedom that's bought. The revolution must be taught, or the cause is forever lost. They want conflict resolution with passive aggressive tactics. Prison recidivism helps Congress raise taxes. Majority say. Minorities are the burden to the public While a military consume over half our fucking budget Lobbyists and feminists fight over the stillborn While progressives only scratch the surface of the drug reform They send you overseas, come back, no one's there to help you Bureaucrats leave you stranded, bootless, homeless at the shelter It's covering and sale, eyes only in file sale Ink from my pen leaks over pages like an oil spill Information is out there, most of it's convoluted The truth they try to pollute it, gotta brain them fucking music Poetical radical with the savage flow Rhymes are mystical and magical Aimed at the status quo Countries in hysteria Government tries to bury it Before you cast me out Remember I made in America Radical thought Radical ways of thinking Radical ways of acting And radical ways of speaking The bullet is the price For the freedom that's bought The revolution must be taught Or the cause is forever lost Radical thought, radical ways of thinking, radical ways of acting, and radical ways of speaking. The bullet is the price for the freedom that's bought. The revolution must be taught, or the cause is forever lost. What the fuck is up, Free Radio Provo? My name is Poet, I am the hip hop anarchist, and we are gonna be getting at you live for the next motherfucking hour. What's up? Half our fucking budget. Lobbyists and feminists fighting over the civil war. Surface of the drug reform. K.W. Judas returns once again dun, here dun, on dun. Free Radio Provo. Behold. It has been far, 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 far too long. Bah. And yeah, God, Wizard, when's our, when was our last show besides Christmas? I mean, besides Christmas? Yeah. Wow. It, Jesus Christ. Not to put you on the spot, but can you even remember? No. I, I would actually have to get on to the band's folder that has our archives and look at the last date, because I honestly can't remember. It's been that long, folks. Damn. It's been way more than a month. Two months. Wait, months. What, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe like. Well, shit. But yeah, um, we have Poet in the studio. What up, And that's what up? what's important. Poet. Poet, poet. Poet. Yes, yes, yes. Our esteemed colleague here on a very prestigious and auspicious evening, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Prestigious and auspicious. That's uh that's an eloquent way, uh, eloquent way to put what the fuck just happened today. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, it's terrible. We have the privilege of having poet here on the night of the inauguration of the bastard himself. The 45th president, Donald J. Trump, sworn in just three days yep. after we celebrated, you know, the memory of one of our you know, greatest civil rights heroes. Isn't, so, that, isn't that about a bitch, Wait, man? did you say heroes? I did say heroes. Is because, that like uh, yeah. a cereal? 
Yeah, you know, like Heroes, you know what I mean? It's all about like, <laughs> hey, make sure you eat the Martin Luther Kings, man. They, they get your Heroes on. Word. So, so there, there's, something, go ahead. there's something we should all do, like j- just to what we were talking about just now. You know, like they treat the 13th floor on a skyscraper, they skip it. You got 11, 12, and 14 on a lot of them. <laughs> Right? Right. So, so there's going to be our 43rd, our 45th, and, and our 46th And just kind of that <laughs> one part that we didn't really... Yeah, we're just going to pretend it never happened when it's all yeah. over. Yeah. If, if we even exist anymore. Yeah, you know, it's... Uh, it's oh, we'll it's, exist. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. We'll exist, but in what type of state yeah, will exactly. the human condition be in exactly. at that point? You know, it's really... It really is something else. You know, we, we all knew this day was fucking coming once he got, you know, once he won the election. And, and it's fucking, it happened today. It happened today at fucking noon, Eastern Standard Time. You know, Donald J. Trump is the official 45th president of the United States. And, you know, I was just really hoping that after, you know, the last 30 years that this asshole would just be just some pop culture fixture that would just have dissipated within time. Thought, you know, he'd, right. be, he'd be a little bit more than, you know, say... You know, uh, Dick Clark, but not enough as, as Betty White. And we would just forget about him in a few years. No, <laughs> this motherfucker will now be in our history books. We have to actually write him in. Ain't that about a bitch, man? We don't have to do anything. As the wizard put it, he'd just kind of be like the 13th floor. Yeah. Right. You, you see, just like- you know, we'll just kind of skip this next. So that <laughs> wizard, if that's the way that you want to deal with it, then can I just pose you a question? Sure. How are we supposed to spend the next four years of our lives? <laughs> Whacking it in the closet. I already have been we, we're, doing that. We're doing that, I was man. Really, come on, man. Like, give me something. Well, you're not going to be president anytime uh, soon, God damn it. We, we've got to fight to hold on to the rights we've already been given because he's going to try and strip those away from us. And he's been yes. speaking about stripping a lot of these fucking rights away from us in education. Yeah. And, like, dude, it's fucking ridiculous. So what we need to do for the next four years is, is fight for our fucking lives to hang on to what we have. Because we're not going to progress anymore with what just went down, in my opinion. We're going to have to fight for what we already have. Here's well said, another, well said. On to it. another question. Uh, do you think it could get any worse? Fuck yeah, man. The whole uh, it can never if get worse. Fuck that, assassinate man. assassinate him and Pence. All oh, right, yeah. Pence that's comes in. Ah, uh, yes. Over, man. Like, right, yeah, right, right, right. Totally the motherfucker so, that put. Such I don't heard. assassinate like, Trump. Right. Write yeah. it through and fight Speak him. Speak more into the mic. Like, I mean, and, and Pence, I mean, Pence, this is the same bastard who put a woman in jail for having an abortion. Like, wow, really? That's who you who you picked as as your fucking well, VP? Why do you think he did that? I mean, because really? He, because he knew no one would take him out. No exactly. <laughs> you put somebody who's way worse than you as your runner up. And yeah, no one's going to take nah, you nah, out. Nah. I mean, well, what's worse? Well, yeah. this guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and what was really, you know, another thing, too, was, you know, when you look at what also happened was, you know, the Republicans won the House and the Senate, you know, along with Trump's election. Now, I'm not about, you know, uh, partisan politics. I don't give a fuck if you're a Democrat, a Republican, a Libertarian, an Independent. If you are a sane human being and are actually about being, you know, a representation of your constituents, you know, I will support you. But the thing is, we're, we're now going to look at a man who's, be, who's not only going to be able to get bills and, and, you know, orders passed, he won't even have to wait. He'll get this shit express lane someone like obama had to fight every fucking day in his cat you know during his entire presidency not saying i supported a lot of obama you know all of obama's uh you know a lot, a lot of uh, obama's acts but yeah but, but that's me neither the- i actually got a not to interject but a whole bag of red skittles a whole bag of red skittles what? like because of obama because of obama i mean well yeah you're splitting hairs here it's just red skittles i mean come on anyways well, I mean, that's just the thing, you know, because I will say this, you know, I voted for, for Obama when, you know, he first came in when I was 18, you know, and one thing I will say, you know, with a lot of the things of his that I did support, I found it nothing but a fucking insult that a man during his administration that dropped over 29,000 bombs in Syria won the Nobel Peace Prize. Like, really? You know, like that, that to me, it was, uh, it was kind of an interesting, but you know, it's, it's, it's looking at what we're going on right now, what we have right now, you know, so Donald J. Trump is our president and 
you know, one thing that was interesting is seeing just basically how he had the lowest poll ratings of any entering president. Like, like, like the country is really like, wow. How did this happen? Well, when I think how it happens, I first uh, will look at the media. I've always really had a very hard time with the media, man. The media is a fucking propaganda machine. And, you know, and sometimes that, you know, that cut, you know, that knife cuts both ways. You know, you look at, you know, for conservatives, they'll watch Fox News. You know, Har- you know Hannity or uh, that that Bill O'Reilly motherfucker. Like, you know, there's some people you just don't like. Oh, I love Bill O'Reilly. I, I mean, I'm just like, there's just some people that like you. You might not agree with their politics, but Bill O'Reilly's just like that dude. Like, if you were actually sitting next to him on a bus, you'd probably be like, "Fuck it, I'm ready for an assault charge today. I'm just gonna hit him. Like, I'm just gonna hit him. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm just gonna hit him. Whatever. It'd be like sitting next to Scott Stapp or something. Oh, the guy God, from Creed. Bro. Like, huh? It's like you know, I, like, like I want to. I know who that. you are, fucker. All right, you can't play play possum with me on this bus, Scott. That's Stan. why I'm those guys don't up. ride the bus anymore. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's not right. because they're hey, 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 they're not hey. broke. Behold, you know behold. They're... <laughs> the 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 wizard is going to interrupt. We should have another song. By oh yeah, you're right. I want Music to hear would be his cool. mad licks. All right, all right. Well, I'm more than down to do another song. So mm. all the music that we're going to be doing tonight is uh, coming off my upcoming album, Radical Thought. I'll be more than happy to uh, discuss later when and where you can find it. So the next song we are going to do is called Hip Hop Over Everything. This is a, a song about my uh, my coming into hip hop as a kid, as, uh, as everything that I listened to, everything that I was about, and where uh, the hip hop journey has taken me. KW Judas, Free Radio Provo. This is Poet joining us for the return of KW Judas. You know, a lot of people Thank ask me, what is it about hip hop for you, Poet? Man, where do I start, man? Hip hop was everything to me as a little kid, man. It was the way I talk, the way I learn, the way I learn, the way I make love. You know, hip hop was everything in my life. For all my hip hop heads, check it. Wake up, spark a Lucy, then roll out to my car Got moment of truth blaring out by gangstar Long before the anarchy, the cars or the drugs Was a six-year-old taken by California love Raised in a Mormon village where free thought was raped and pillaged Lived the son of an immigrant bullied by the kids with privilege Astray from the pack on the wrong side of the tracks With his Walkman Jinko jeans and tilted Dodgers hat Go through many different phases at a lot of different ages Hanging in a bunch of places with a bunch of different races Small town suburbia to the urban jungle Late night, several park We occasionally would rumble Roaming back streets Our hands in our mouths Busting a beat In the sight for throwing shades To avoid the summer heat Other kids in school were lame Asleep, blind as fuck So we broke out of class With our dickies and parachucks A native in a foreign land With the foreign tongue What y'all call the U We call the A to 1 Way before the mics And fancy stage lights That night in 96 I knew hip hop was life Got one D one b-boy one mic the graph writer pace the soundtrack to our life word up keep it real get down or fall back this hip-hop over everything hold me straight like that got one dj one b-boy one mic the graph writer pace the soundtrack to our life word up keep it real get down or fall back this hip-hop over everything hold me straight like that this wordsmith had a purpose, couldn't stop to rest or slumber Had dreams to have more cream than the fucking cave of wonders Repetitious repetition, inner visions and ambitions Couldn't lose sight of the mission to carry on our tradition Hip-hop became saturated, corporate propaganda Everything stifled thanks to MTV extravaganzas Once free thought, now enslavement to an audience So I'm abolishing all you lyrical fucking lobbies Orm City CRS hit the drums like they were savages Cruise every dozen secret like Republican miscarriages Don't label me a I support y'all with the dream Just now the struggle's being taught by kids who come from means The culture's being perverted with that bullshit dubstep Rappers playing other cat shit during they own set A dying breed mom, feel like a saber to tiger Cause your baby mom's the only one who calls me a biter Ha ha Got one DJ, one b-boy, one mic The graph writer paints the soundtrack to our life Word up, keep it real, get down or fall back This hip hop over everything, homie, straight like that Got one DJ, one b-boy one mic The graph writer paints a soundtrack To Word our life up. Word up, keep it real Get down or fall back This hip hop over everything Homie, straight like that This culture's universal Crossing boundaries, breaking barriers It's in your home, your kitchen Even in your cell Carries underground history Uncommon knowledge Immortal taught me politics When I was too young for college Public enemy made a movement You couldn't stop it N.W.A. said fuck the cops Acting out of pocket Flash hurt, bambata Create and innovate Tech 
that can need to differentiate and let them bitches hate. As one era passes, a new herd shall emerge. All forging separate paths in the quest of sound and word. I'm going for it all without trending or a gimmick. To the echelons are great for pushing hip hop to its limits. So I share the stage with others, continue to open doors, elevate your third eye. See what is now a store before my quest for the throne. Back when I was all alone, I give thanks to hip hop for giving this orphan a home. Word. Got one DJ, one B boy, one mic. The graph writer paints a soundtrack to our life. Word up, keep it real. Get, Get down, down or fall back. back. This hip hop over everything, homie. Straight, straight like that. that. Straight like that. Got, Got one DJ, one, one B boy, one mic. The graph writer paints a soundtrack to our life. Word up, keep it real. Get down or fall back. This hip hop over everything, homie. Straight like that. Got one DJ, bus, one B-boy, one bus, bus. The the Chickity check, what, 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 what? This hip hop of everything, homie, straight like what? One, DJ, one, one B-boy, one, one mic, get it. Uh huh, uh huh. Keep it real. Fall back. Straight like that. Straight like that. Straight like that. Over everything. It's hip hop over everything. Nod your head, people. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Shout out to all my hip hop heads out there. Hey there, brother. It's been a minute. It has been a minute, man. Well, I mean, it hasn't been too long. Brother Poet. I mean, my, my, I always enjoy kicking it with my Duffer Corn brothers, for real, man. And uh, it's that, also good seeing, you know, I know we got Diego in the fucking house, man. You know, uh, last time we were all together during, uh, God, it, was it December when we did the show at City Limits? Ah, uh, December or January or one of those months before it. One of the months before December, like yeah, I mean. Oh wait, it's January now. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's January now. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that well, was pretty cool. I think that was actually November when Diego played with you, and we had a whole bunch of other uh, rappers and DJs. Right. And uh, there, there was there was that one dude who uh, who basically had his um like his his, uh, his sound machine, his drum, like he just played like beats. Like, oh yeah, you know, dude. Berto, sick. Berto, Berto yeah, beats. Yeah, that guy yeah. was the Delta awesome, Corn actually. actually play that. The guy was pretty but cool. Me and Judas were there running. Sound yeah, no, like that was the last time I yeah. you know, saw you guys, man. So uh, yeah, it's been a minute, but you know, it's always good to kick it. Always, always, man. always. And it's another rare event this evening, by the way. We have all three members of the quorum here. All right. Oh yeah, all right, we actually right. have Elder Schlongbob in the house. He is in, in the, the Hizzle studio actually. tonight. Yeah. Elder yeah. Von Peef. <laughs> well, he's too well, fucked up. Don't right, give him right. No, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. No, I said in a minute. Like, I'll come back in about twenty. <laughs> my, my See, I told you. Is, uh, I told you so. Anyways, he's we'll take him to go and like shovel snow or fly a kite later. He's he's actually got to go and uh, do a uh, a presentation of the cerebral sphincter siphon. He's actually going to do it to himself. Like, oh wow! It sounds like a very or an like infomercial like, that they're filming live self-inflicted tonight. cerebral so sphincter siphon. When he's done, by Dove, Schlong Bob, you never told us. No, yeah. No, well, <laughs> twist me testicles. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Did you say you're going to die? I'm going to do it. Do oh. it. Well, that just sounds swell. Anyways, what did you do for Christmas? Uh, with my Christmas, man, I keep it simple. Like I, I, I'm, I'm not a Christian, so like I, like I don't do like I don't celebrate it in that sense, you know. But uh, me, yeah, but me when it comes to my kids, you know, I mean, we had a we had a dinner, we went and saw a movie, and we had some gifts. Like I don't get crazy with with my gifts. Some of you parents out there that are buying your fucking teenage children like iPhones and shit, y'all got it fucked up. But uh, I mean, if you got to spend it, I guess. But no, like for my for my children, we we hung out, we hung out, we saw a movie, we ate dinner, we watched cartoons and kicked it. So Christmas, man, was just was just chilling with the family, man. Huh? That's we, cool. We had a great Christmas, didn't we, Judas? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we, we we played. The most retarded Christmas shit we could find, and drank <laughs> the most expensive cognac we could afford. It's true. F- fuck it. Yeah, happy, it. happy like motherfucking goose. Kwanzaa, dude. <laughs> shit. Yeah, dude. It was great. Yeah, that, that was cool. So, what did you do for Pioneer Day? For what? 
Pioneer, Pioneer Day. Day. Pioneer Day. Oh, for buying beer day. Oh, fucking shit. What the fuck did I do for New Year's, man? <laughs> what the fuck did I do? All right, right, right. But Never mind. I guess skip that one. Yeah, skip that. What one. did you do for Christopher Columbus? Day? Get the fuck out of here. I didn't do shit, but I went balls out on Yom Kippur, man. Like fucking, we handled oh, shit, business. Man. So this last Monday was it's all about Luther Arbor King Day. Day. What did you do for then? I got fucking wasted. Did you? Judas. I was talking to poet. I well, still, <laughs> it goes with that saying, you know. I'm going to be wasted every Monday. Why not? So. And every Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> Man, that, I, you know, it, like it being the inauguration the show, I just have to go back to that where what a fucking insult where, you know, the weekend, you know, right before, like just right before Martin Luther King Day, you know, Donald Trump goes on this attack, you know, against uh, John Clark because John Clark, you know, made a comment saying, I just don't think, you know, Donald Trump is... Uh, is the right person to be president. And so Trump, you know, how does he attack, you know, not through like press conferences or, or news. No, he gets on the fucking Twitter feed and tweets. I at, know, right? Like, like, like a what little is that? Girl. What is that? Just hops just, on Twitter I mean, and starts talking No offense shit. to the girls out there or anything, but like a little teenage high school, um, a little ninny. A little bitch. Period, a little man. bitch. Like, it, it's what we're like, saying. A little he, bitch. Like, like, so, yes, yes. And that's what happens. He got on Twitter, and this is the funny part. No offense so, to all the bitches or ninnies so, either. So, like, he, he says all this shit about John Clark, about, oh, he needs to focus on his district, which is a disaster, blah, blah, blah. But he's all talk, 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 talk. And it's like, does he not realize that John Clark not only marched with Martin Luther King, but almost was beaten to death by uh, state troopers during a civil rights rally? I think the man has done a lot more than just talk in his life. But he, but those, so, the, so that's what happens. We have a president who is now just totally dick writing, you know, the Putin Russia train, but yet shit talks our own civil rights heroes three days before fucking Martin Luther King Day and then fucking a couple days before his election. Wow, man, this is uh, going to be our social progress, man. Uh, this is uh, this is going to be an interesting four fucking years, man. For real, fuck that, America. Well, and they even gave us they even gave us a chance to change the election, and they let the electoral college revote, and they still voted for Trump. Yeah, the electoral college. So I will say this: uh, as much of a political activist as I am, I'm probably one of the few people who will not jump on something without all the knowledge. For my understanding. The electoral college. I'm not going to vote to get rid of it because I have no work. I have no in-depth knowledge of the me of the mechanism of it or what repercussions could come from that. So, I mean, with more information, I'd be more than down to say if the electoral college should go or not. Because, I mean, obviously Hillary won the popular vote. I mean, that was just obvious. And what's even funny too, the last fucking Republican who won, you know. Uh, the electoral college vote over the popular vote was the whole Al Gore, George Bush shit, you know, like the, oh, that whole, you know, catastrophe, you know, but I will say what's, what's fucking interesting is I was made to believe that the electoral college would help us prevent a man like Donald Trump, you know, to become president. But here he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> there he is. I think Donald Trump invented the electoral college. My it's not true. God, that that like mind fucking Think blown. about it. Why Just would they Bob support a nice Donald house. Trump in the first place? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that. So, you know, we we look back on this election, and you know, I also hey. don't just hold this towards you know you know um, the media and all that. I will believe that people are very susceptible to. Uh, immediate information without looking it up. You can go on your Facebook feed right now and they can say, ooh, you know, Donald Trump just murdered three baby kittens and people are just gonna be like, oh, yes, that, that had to be been true without checking to see if it was clickbait, seeing if the ad was, you know, just some bullshit. You know, uh, I knew that Hillary Clinton was a horrible candidate and I will hold that against the Democrats. You had someone that people wanted. His name was Ber Bernie fucking Sanders. That's who your people wanted. Yeah, Here. whatever happened to that guy? He's still fighting. He, uh, he actually, during uh, November, before the elections, uh, he was uh, campaigning in, uh, in California for a proposition. Forgive me, Californians, if anyone's listening. I think it's Proposition 69 to help um, keep uh, the pharmaceutical companies from raising prices on uh, prescriptions. So you know what Bernie is doing? He's doing what the fuck he's always done, and he's just fighting for social activism. Well, that's, that's badass. 
You know, so Bernie, that's another thing. You know, he got totally cheated out of the, you know, by the DNC, you know, thanks Democratic National Committee. But guess what? He didn't stop. He didn't stop doing what it is that he believed in. And, you know, that man was supported by the people. The people wanted him in droves. But because Hillary Clinton has done her 30 year back rooms with the devil, you know, she, she, you know, played every card, voted every bullshit, you know, did all her, you know, back room deals and all that type of fucking shady shit in Washington, D.C. She was owed to do. And so the powers that be gave it to her you know with, we, just by thinking oh because donald trump is this or that it's like no you have a candidate that the people don't fucking want so these people aren't inspired to go vote for her but the people on the other side are, are inspired to vote for trump and so what do you think happened he fucking he won exactly he fucking won having him uh, as one of the main candidates is going to expire both parties to vote i mean you know no. because it's like well kind of like you said <laughs> you don't really want Hillary in there, but the only reason you're going to vote for her is to try and keep Trump from getting in office. Right, and that's, that's the and thing. And, of man. course, that didn't, of course, you know, that didn't work. Yeah, you know, and that's, I think that's what I took away from this election that was probably the most profound thing was like, wow, this election lowered the bar for who we want to be in these kind of you know positions man Big you know time. you know you know it it used to be that like our presidents you know like used to be we would compare who's done more oh this guy he built three churches oh this guy brought water to you know starving you know uh, starving cities or this guy did you know oh, this, Diego, you, did that. you know and like all this shit but now it this election was who was the sh the least shittier person oh Hillary's the cooked. giant douche or the turd sandwich. Thank you. Like it, we lowered the standards, man, and that is bullshit. And that has got to change, man. Like if we really want to rise up as people, we need to set higher standards for us. Way higher. And so, how so, are we going to do that? Thank you for all that. And and one Sorry, thing, but <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I really got to say, go for it. Is uh, I'm not going to apologize for today's political content. We don't often talk politics on this show. We usually talk music. Well, this is the post inauguration show. Avoid I mean, this today. Inauguration. Donald Trump. It was Trump, kind of the, the point of having the show the night that we did. In my opinion. Right. So, that's, and now that's you know you don't yeah you don't always have to you know talk politics you know but you know it needs to be brought up you know sooner or later it's not like the you know the thing that you can avoid because whenever someone like a young uh, a young listener looks at me and listens to my music and says you know I'm not really interested in politics I just look at him and say you know well politics is interested in you they're interested in your apathy you're too cool for school and all that you don't have to go march at every fucking rally but you know what what helps is uh knowing when elections are taking place and who you're voting for that's you know that's <laughs> it's pretty cut and dry man you know so you know it's it's i mean and thank you guys for indulging this you know for the inauguration show let me come on and just you know speak uh just speak you know some pretty radical you know shit out there you know but it's it's the things that need to be said you know we don't have to you know carry this shit you know like a like a wet blanket but at least we can sit and just talk like wow here we are today and and why well be, because of the amount of people that are speaking out about this more people than ever now like realize how much this kind of stuff is affecting them right um, there is there is a, a much larger outcry than there ever has been for political wrongdoings and you know that's i mean partly thanks to social media online media <laughs> right social media you know i i, I see it as i almost see like social media like so many other like you know very like revolutionary you know things made by you know by humanity is that it has such great potential but such great damage man such great potential and such great damage. You know, you can use social media to find the nearest fucking rally. Like instead of like you'd have to go to you'd have to go to coffee shops or like maybe a college campus. You'd have to like try to dig this shit up. Boom! Like you so just you, only, yeah. you, you know you can look up events in your area and bam, you know where to go. But you know, I think one thing that's gotten to me is that so many people want to post their opinions and their beliefs and all that, which they're every right to do, but oh, I, I want things to change. I want things to change. Well, then get the fuck off Facebook and come to a goddamn rally, man. The fuck do yeah, you think you're going to yeah. change? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, they still do rallies? <laughs> I know, right? Well, Judas, <laughs> I'll be happy to inform really? you that on my way to this show tonight, 
I had the honor and the privilege of speaking on behalf of Utah against police brutality at the anti-Trump inauguration rally that we had tonight in downtown Salt Lake City. Indeed. And that... And again, that tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is sort of why we designated uh, this evening to do this show, even though the fact that, well... Free Radio Provo has kind of been uh, not exactly on a sabbatical, but a little bit, uh, you know, we've been dormant, slightly uh, hiatus. Due to to a lot of different reasons. Um, One of the biggest reasons is our transmitter was struck by lightning. And we're not just making this up. It really (laughs) did happen. Well, and then our website lapsed. And then, yes, uh, we had a lot of problems with our website. and Dirkity, slurkity. Sorry. Yeah, it's the weather's fault. Peanuts and peanut shells. And, yeah, like when when you're getting paid in peanut shells, you can't just take that to the recycling place and expect them to treat it like it's aluminum cans. (laughs) And so, yeah, we decided... I mean, even though we don't have our transmitter yet, which we will be getting soon, folks, we will. Real soon. In fact, when you hear this, you'll probably be listening to it through our new transmitter. Whoop. What, what? Anyways, but we decided to do this because of, as uh, previously stated, the inauguration. We, we tried and really hard to get the transmitter before this, but yeah. In fact, we were shooting to card. do it before our Christmas show, yeah. And we still did the Christmas show regardless because, dude, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, man. We don't want to deny all the KW Judas fans out there of their Christmas. So I think we've been talking for way too it's another long. Another song time. Yeah, for sure. What do we got up next we here? Hear all that right, all right. I'm all, I'm all about that. Oh, so this, uh, the next song we're going to do is called Call to Arms. Uh, I had the pleasure of recording it and uh, collaborating with a, uh, a good friend uh, who's become, well, he's become a good friend, and he's actually a Salt Lake City, uh, I guess you will say, veteran of the hip-hop scene out there. His name is Dusk. Shout out to Dusk and Slug Magazine. Dusk. You know, uh, and so it was, it was a good time. So this song is called Call to Arms. Call to Arms. By poet K.W. Judas Radio Pro. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to commend you on making it thus far to witness how truly deep the rabbit hole goes. Now back to your regular scheduled programming. Real revolutionary hip hop. <laughs> Get your. Uh. Yo, we back in effect on this one, man, for real. Shout out to Utah well, yeah. against police brutality, students for a Are democratic society, this? to the street corner, and to all my other revolutionaries the from right the northern the part of Utah to, to the central part of Utah, all the way to the, the, the south, baby. They're right in the bill to legalize the kill, for real, word is born, son. All my revolutionaries, where you at? Annie up in this motherfucker, buck in this motherfucker, riot in this motherfucker, live in this motherfucker. Fuck your monarchy, oligarchy, and democracy, neoliberal bureaucracy, and Mormon aristocracy. In the belly of the beast, I swiftly cut the cord, swords lacerate the members of civilian review boards. Statements of accountability, police presence, no tranquility. Shootings come in trilogies, eulogies, and soliloquies. Collegians and suburbanites driven to start to rally. Molotovs in the alley for every Tom, Dick, and Sally Drastic times for drastic measures Circuit judges, head I sever Generation wants better Tear gas brings a stormy weather Celebrity misdirection Cover stories of progression Whistleblowers and confessions Inside government aggression Candlelight vigils for civils The oppression has to stop They say violence ain't the answer Shit, I think it's worth a shot this a call to arms the Enemy is at the gates The odds are stacked against us, man Make no mistake If we don't fight back Tell me when will we ever Even if we die today Our right. actions shall live forever This a call to arms the Enemy is at, is at the, the gates The odds are stacked against us, man Make no mistake If we don't fight back Tell me when will we ever Even if we die today Our actions shall live forever The new age of hip-hop Finally found a resurgence Fighting against the stream Going against every current I'll run these rap cats with my skill and my endurance And you blind to U.S. backed assassinations in Honduras It's mass indoctrination and mass incarceration Ascension, elevation, reading the wealth of nature The struggle
struggle inside a solid soul with strengths with seeds of knowledge Gained freely from the block while you blow time in fucking college A martyr for the people condemned for the truth is lethal They killed the fourth amendment and sovereignty in Puerto Rico Ill as rap and anarchists either side of the equator Music never panders to the lowest common denominator Fundamentalist lobby game, politicians mix and match It's an itch you can't scratch like the career of Orrin Hatch I forever defy conformity and the senate majority A patriot is taught to always question his authority There's a call to arms, the enemy is at the gates The odds are stacked against us man Make no mistake motherfuckers If we don't fight back, tell me when will we ever Even if we die today our actions shall live forever there's a call to arms, enemy is at the gates The odds are stacked against us, man Make no mistake, if we don't fight back Tell me when will we ever Even if we die today, our actions shall live forever Word up You can jail a revolutionary But you can't jail a revolutionary Word the fuck up to Fred Hampton Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now to take action And to never dismiss the power that is you And remember these words Change does not start on Capitol Hill it starts in the neighborhoods. Shout out Free Radio Program. Poet here on KW Judas Free Radio Provo. Free Thank you all for joining Provo. in. We are at the top of the half hour. Uh -huh. And um, uh -huh. it's quite a privilege to be back, folks. It feels great. It's good to have you guys back, man. I mean, we, you know, we, we always got to remember, man, we need you guys, whether you become, you know, calling from, uh, you know, the moons of Endor or we're live right now, you know, from Gumption. Gumption, you know, you Utah, know. by the way. Folks. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the thing that we've kind of, we failed to uh, actually give props. To our sponsors, Derpenchley. That's one of the biggest reasons that we've sort of been out of order. Is Derpenchley had this huge lawsuit that they had to tie up in Zimbabwe. It and had nothing to do with lightning hit our train. <laughs> that was just an excuse. Guys. Well, we kind of ran man. out of funds uh, for a while because uh, our sponsor was our, our peanut shells ran out. <laughs> well, peanut shells can only go so far. Like very say, true. Very true. Little fuckers can go, but not as far as we wish. So they finally floated us a check for like twelve dollars and fifty cents and Word. a bag of red Skittles. That that let us turn the computer on tonight. Show me and the so, money. So yeah, that's how it we were actually us, able to turn on this, <laughs> this computer. <laughs> and Unfortunately, all they could afford is this ramshackle studio in Gumption, Utah. Well, that's where the Trax ticket was, too. We're not sure how we're getting home yet, folks. So yeah, because Trax only run to Gumption, Utah, like three times a year. Once for holidays and once for, well, this. Well, Doomsday Inauguration. That's why we didn't originally tell you where we were coming from, because we were like, we're in a non-disclosed you know, area. Maybe we should keep it to ourselves, because we know the second we tell y'all about gumption, everyone's going to start driving the fuck Everyone, out of here, man. Dude. So, well, yeah. forget, forget we ever said where we were brought So, uh, sorry to the town of gumption and all the 75 people, you know. 75 population, yeah. Oh, 74. Sorry, I, I heard well, Wayne died. Well, we did kind of promise that... Um, arm it that we wouldn't tell him what uh, trailer we were in. <laughs> <laughs> the president of Gumption. Because <laughs> Gumption, Gumption is actually a very unique healthy. It's that's a unique healthy. little yeah. area of Utah. Yeah. Arm it? Yeah. Armin H. Wallace, <laughs> president of Gumption Armin Utah. H. Wallace. So, do you got another song for us there, poet? Of course, brother. Of course. I got, uh, I got another song for you. So, this next song, I'd like to introduce it real quick. It's going to be, uh, uh, I guess you will say, the final single off my new album, Radical Thought. Radical Thought will be available uh, January 29th. It'll be available on iTunes. It'll be available on Google Play. You'll be able to stream it on Spotify. You also can download the, uh, your own personal MP3 copy off uh, poet801.bandcamp.com. This next single is called We the People, and just tonight... Uh, my, um, me and my 
Um, my, cam- uh, my camera guy, Yudo, shout out to Yudo and Midnight Marauders, uh, who shot Mass Shooter with me. Uh, we recorded at the rally tonight for uh, this upcoming music video, which we should hopefully have released in the next few weeks. Music video by Poet. Free Radio Provo, KW Judas. This is We the People. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for walking with me to the ending of this chapter. Ladies and gentlemen, this song is to remind everyone that today was kind of a fucking embarrassing day, but guess what? We live on. And, and tomorrow we go again. back to doing it what it is that we do. So I want everyone, nod your head. Nod that head, man. If you still believe in hope, if you still believe in persevering over injustices. We are the people. What up, what up? We are the people, our spirits are of a new United as the many, once divided by the few Rising up to the occasion, ready for any challenge It's the power as a nation that can help restore the balance Too long we all been silent, feeling hated and degraded Easily became jaded, tuned out and got faded Cause nothing makes any sense, everything is ass backwards Like American infrastructure, our society has been fractured Relations with cops and cities have quickly deteriorated Blue collar men and women are grossly unappreciated As stocks start to soar, the dollar starts to plummet like a soup kitchen meal. The truth is hard for you to stomach as schools lose their funding. Walmart makes record profits, our values we have lost, and we're all spiritually exhausted. But the people are resilient, we have never given up. We know the search for the answer, it starts inside of us. We are the people, mighty and strong. We shall rise and overcome. Everything's good, it's gonna be alright. The future is for us to decide. We are the people, mighty and strong, we shall rise and overcome, everything's good, it's gonna be alright, it's gonna be alright folks, you pay for school to get a job, get a job to pay for school, capitalist society, sleight of hand is the golden rule, but if we lower the rates with more access to our grants, abolish common core, our students' education has a chance, and there is a lot of light in the dark times that we live in, salute the DOJ cutting ties with private privilege, avoid government interference, Drastic measures notwithstanding Shout out to our gay people who can marry Start a family Officials fail constituents Protests and start to chatter In the streets of white cities The sounds of Black Lives Matter We fight for Cody Evans Daniel Willard Dylan Taylor James Parker Darren Hunt And the silent remainder For young Tony Nunez We ride for our Latino people To those who heal To those and we're grant this No human being is illegal we all rely on each other The path to peace and prosperity All relies inside our brothers We are the people mighty and strong We shall rise and overcome Everything's good, it's gonna be alright The future is for us to decide We are the people mighty and strong We shall rise, my people, I swear Everything's good, it's gonna It's always be darkest right. before the dawn, but please believe the dawn is coming. Now I'm not asking a lot, social change is realistic. Cause you don't win the first time, ain't no reason to be pessimistic. Our attitudes are in doubt when attitudes are indifferent. Cause salvation is a card played by the sick and the twisted. Our soldiers fight for freedom, so let's pause and give thanks. Close your account as we Fargo put money in a local bank. When economics get harder, make your finances sharper. Buy food from a local gardener and go to a local barber. Turn off your TV. Don't buy whatever the man is selling Tell Congress to provide housing to families and fail Avoid Ah, oh, my bad people <laughs> City council meetings and vote in local elections Practice what we preach and live it out every day Keep dealers from stopping kids like Congress did Medicaid Now it doesn't solve it all, we have plenty more to do But I simply believe, cause I believe in me and you We are the people, mighty and strong We shall rise and overcome Everything's good, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be alright right. 2017, I promise is for us to decide we are the people, mighty and strong, we shall rise and overcome, everything's good, it's gonna be alright, the future is for us to decide, we are the people, uh huh, if you listen to this right now, throw your hands up, throw up that one, we're gonna be okay ladies and gentlemen, much love. Yeah, so we just, uh, once again, that song is called We the People. 
and um, myself and uh, my boy Yudo, uh, who uh, does Midnight Marauders, who uh, shoots music, music videos, does a lot of uh, filmography. Uh, he actually filmed my last music video, my debut music video, actually called Mass Shooter. Mass Shooter is also on the Radical Thought album. You can go view it right now at YouTube on YouTube at Poet Eight Hundred One. Uh, just type in Mass Shooter. What uh, that that uh, what that video was entailing. Uh, with Mass Shooter, we basically were talking about gun violence in America, you know, in light of all the uh, mass shootings that we basically have once every fucking year. But uh, I was glad to have him again join me uh, to, at tonight's rally in Salt Lake, and we uh, filmed We the People, and I, I'm very, I look very forward to how that video comes out. Nice. <clears throat> hey, Judas? Yes. You still with us? Yeah. Judas, yes. are you still there? I'm sorry. I just... Took a hit of LSD and I'm um, kind of slipping into some. Oh, is that what happened? Because I heard you were so inspired by this that you uh, you bounced out of here real quick so you can go uh, put in your uh, put in your application to run uh, to be the next president of Gumption. He also that would kind of be something you'd do on a really had, good acid trip. He also, <laughs> he also had to change his panties. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't do a radio show with dirty panties, man. I mean, come on now. I'm trying to actually. <laughs> Talk to Schlongbog, but he's even more fucked up than I am. Do we trust? Do we trust Professor Von Peef with the microphone right after receiving a, a self-administered cerebral sphincter siphon on the? He air did. For an uh, see, fuck acid. <laughs> no, he fuck actually acid, has man. been Who needs coming al- down <laughs> off of a self-administered cerebral sphincter siphon, for and an it hasn't actually washed like, all the way through his guys. system. Yeah. Yeah, um, no, and that happened like, too. how long ago was that, Dude, Schlong, that was 15 Bob? minutes ago when you got done. 15 minutes ago when I got done. No, I mean like when you first did it. When, when I Wasn't first like did Wasn't it like two what? days ago? Dude, I've been doing it for like a few years. All right. Well, I don't know. I've never wanted to be Schlong, Bob. I don't, I don't expect you to. <laughs> Dude, come on! <laughs> like seriously, <laughs> you know we should probably have a commercial pretty soon here. Well, this fucking like we've got about f- ten minutes left. We should have another song. Okay, well let's play a song and we'll come back. <laughs> You're done, Schlong Bob. <laughs> Schlong, I just want to say you got nothing but love from the poet, man. I, I mean, my, 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 number love to Schlong, man, and. Damn, my man, you are lit as fuck right now, dude. True. And, and, and that's, so, um, all right, so the final song I'll do for you tonight on my uh, upcoming album, Radical Thought, is called I'm So Proud. You know, with songs like I'm So Proud, I wanted to remind people that even though times are hard, you know, I'm proud of every little thing that we do in our everyday community, man, from, you know, people that are fighting with addiction to our single mothers, people that are working hard, you know, people that are just trying to do the, the next right thing that aren't trying to be famous or ain't trying to do all this bullshit. They just want to be decent human beings in a time where it's almost very hard to be a decent human being. So I'm so proud. This is dedicated to everyone that does the next right thing. And I'm very proud of all my people. Hell yeah. Poet on free radio Provo KW Judas. So proud. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I also want to say that I'm proud. I'm so proud. To look at my community and see the the good things that people want to do. Damn. I get to look at people Man, crazy. and I get to see people come overcome their adversity every day. Shout out to everyone that's trying to better themselves on real grand. Man, that just feels good, don't it, people? I know you bump with this right now. Just close your eyes and let's kick back. Free radio problem, what's up? It's poet at the crib, sounds of Einstein in your ear Think of all the crazy shit that can happen in a year It all starts as a dream, glory road where you're heading You're drinking Seagram 7 under the stairway to heaven Hopeless and homeless, jail cells and overdoses Make some moves and get your focus, the streets start taking notice Me and Coma doing shows, some kids nobody knows Then we open for Tech 9 and just stole the fucking show Every opportunity is without hesitation Man, they manifest itself with sacrifice and dedication That's how it goes it still blows me away I never thought I'd see the day When I'd hear my people say I'm so proud of the way you came up I'm so proud of the time you made up I'm so proud how you made your way up And I'm so proud that you never gave up And I'm 
I want to say I'm proud to be a father. Shout out to my babies, my little girls, Debra and Serenity. My little man, my baby boy, Rebel. Daddy is so proud of you. And he's proud of the, uh, the beautiful lives you are being grown by your mothers. And I'm proud to be a part of your life. Shout out to my kids. Get algorithms, knowledge is the condition Freeing the mind from this prison You don't get what I'm kicking or the metaphors I'm spitting In layman's terms, get over yourself and quit the bitching I don't dismiss your pain, cause inside I feel the same For a poet's soul is only giving birth inside the rain Don't let your dirty shoes hold you back from the dance As long as you get out of bed, your life has got a fighting chance You barely make rent and your check is spent Well your spirit is content, now your wealth makes sense The foundation that we lay for the next to make a way If no one told you today let me be the first to say i'm so proud of the way you came up and i'm so proud of the time you made up and i'm so proud how you made your way up and i'm so proud that you never gave up and i would like to say i'm so proud of all my people in recovery all my people that put that dope down that put that drink down and went to achieve something big in their life I'm proud of all my activists, I'm proud of all the hard-working men and women who actually pay their fucking taxes, unlike our commander-in-chief. And I'm proud of everyone that has had the nothing but the utmost humbling honor to support me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud to be here tonight, I'm proud here to rap with you. My name is Poet Man, much love. So yes, so yes ladies and gentlemen, Hey, wizard! Uh, yeah, Derpishly. <laughs> uh, why, yes, Derpishly guy. Why would you beseech of me? Are you tired of not being schlong bomb? Oh, that's just nonsense. What the hell is a schlong bomb? Good, sir. You, among thousands of other random peripatetics, of all themselves asking themselves the same boring, redundant question day after day. Well, come on now. Aren't you going to tell me? Oh, grovel no more, flatulent comrade. Try this new Schlongbaud transmogrifying suppository. Just two dabs of Vaseline, a pop and twist of the knuckle, and there you have it, folks. Oh, well, it sounds horrific. But Just try, try it. it. Dude, I, I need like two more pops and two more twists of the knuckle. Am I allowed to interject and say, what the fuck are y'all talking about? As you can see, the wizard has been reduced into a bumbling schlong mob. All right, so. Bring it on. In just a matter of moments, the schlong bob suppository has reduced this wizard into nothing but a drunken schlong. Brought to you by Durbin Schlee. And if it doesn't say Durbin, it's not Durbin Schlee. Wow. Wow is fucking right. I can't right. believe we just turned fuck Wizard into Schlongbob. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to say the fuck word. Then so, we got about seven minutes left. Okay. Um, what do you want to do? Tiddlywinks? Oh, Tiddly Winks came up again. Already? Jesus. Is, is that the category words for the Duffel Quorum this, this week? <laughs> oh, no, no. It's uh, when it comes down to the line and uh, we want to see who knows what Tiddly Winks is. Mm, indeed. Do you um, know what Tiddly Winks is? I do not, but I'm, I'm quite intrigued. You, well, you've got him hooked now, Judas. you got to flip did a coin bring, with a coin bring your into tiddly winks? a cup. A coin uh, no, I didn't. and a coin to the cup. <sighs> or a disc or some sort of <laughs> flat <laughs> surface thing. You can maybe use you a really, use a really coin solid To put pancake. a coin into a cup. All right, let's give it a shot. We <laughs> wow, you almost got ah, it. Ah, shit, almost, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hell yeah! Uh, you know what? All right, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on board with the tiddlywinks now. Okay. <laughs> now it's your turn, was it? <coughs> Are you gonna borrow me a coin? I might pocket it. These pockets eject everything, so the change just like falls out on the street, but it's okay. <laughs> right for the cause, man. You it's know? all for the cause. That's another thing, spirit. folks. Uh, push back against any type all of right. dumb shit you might Thanks, be hearing dude. about the homeless, man. Make sure you always give out. <laughs> it's my turn for tiddly weeks. Yeah, dude. Just wait. It's, well, it's you just flipped around. my microphone off. It's, it's going around the planet. It's gaining momentum. It's, oh, it's shit. Back, dude, you'll see. Wow, that sucked. Give it about six hours. It'll be back. So, it, it'll, be ba- uh, it'll be back by next week's episode. Yeah, you'll see. It'll <laughs> end right in your cup, dude. You'll be blown away. That coin totally went out the window. You saw it. <laughs> this is like the best ending ever. It truly is, man. It, it truly fucking is. So you like... Uh, Stuff? Do you think... Oh, it, uh, uh, creamy or crunty? What, what do you prefer? <laughs> Shit. Well, it depends on the context, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah. I, I, I prefer. Don't we have another song, or was that it? That was it, brother. Was I, it. I, I laid it down. All right. for y'all, well, man. shit, man. I, we might have to do another Derpiness Bleak was, commercial was, where Schlongbob makes a jackass out of <laughs> Wizard. I mean, wait, Wizard turned into Schlongbob. No, <laughs> one, one of those sort of things happened. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I personally prefer crunchy. Crunchy, okay, okay. Extra crunchy, if possible. I like, I like creamy. Have you guys ever toasted your peanut butter sandwiches? Oh yeah. Oh, of course, man. If you haven't toasted your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you need to get the fuck out of here. And with, use butter, of course. You got to use butter. Damn butter too. Dude, On the outside, dude, I, 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 yeah. dude, I've dude. Never, no. Just What's like awesome? Grilled cheese only peanut butter and jelly. Well, I mean, do I look like I put butter on my PB and J? I mean, obviously, if you look at me and all the all the you know Marlboros and energy drinks, I'm just the embodiment of health. You know, I mean, come on, <laughs> like, fuck. What's really fucking cool is if you've got a deep fryer. You take Get the fuck out of here! No, no, no! Come on! I don't want to sound like you know. Like, come on! Just, you, li- just we, hear me out. At least we're in gumption okay. for this, man. You know, it, it, get fried, it, fried, 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 Next time you guys are in gumption, stop by for one of these bastards. I didn't even know what they called them, <laughs> but what they do, what they do is they take a, a flour tortilla, okay? Then you get a line or old crunchy peanut butter, line or apricot jelly. No, no, come on. Line the apricot jelly, and then you put some cheddar cheese, big old line, not real, you know, like real cheese. Sharp cheddar, <laughs> sharp cheddar's even better. Sharp cheddar's always better. Sharp cheddar. cheddar's always better. Anyways, then you roll that motherfucker up. <laughs> sharp cheddar. Make sure it ain't coming undone when you throw it in the deep fryer. You do Let it sit there a minute or two. Pull that fucker out, and then dust it in cinnamon sugar. That shit, the shit. I prefer to roll it in cinnamon sugar. Rolling it's better. <laughs> Whether you roll, roll it in cinnamon sugar and dust more it, roll butter. It, dust it, roll it, dunk it. I mean, it's like now we're just splitting hairs here. But uh, mm. wow, that 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 just sounds like I take one bite in, in, into it, I all of a sudden become like fucking Dom DeLuise and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you take one bite into it and you immediately jizz. No, you gotta pants. wrap it in bacon if you want to become Dom, <laughs> Dom DeLuise. De <laughs> Ah, uh, ah! Uh, you guys don't gotta pick on Don DeLuise like that. <laughs> oh, that. Of course we do. He's not here to fight it back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Neither is ass. Tim Croce. Ooh, cut. Uh, <laughs> think about that. <laughs> Shark, uh. Shark's got fangs, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next time you insult Robin fat Williams people can't that are touch dead, me. think about skinny people that are dead too. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking about the skinny people that are dead, and you know maybe if they would have had one of them, some bitches. Wait from a second, shit, it would have been all is right. Jim Croce dead? Hey, <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, <laughs> don't say hey without a follow up. Come hey, on, what do you got? What do you got? Hey, hey, hey. 
That handicapped guy from Derpenchley just walked in the room. I think we're done. Oh, all right. Well, we got about 30 seconds. So will everybody, everybody please join me in a short verse of Macy Gray? Come on, come on. Ready? One, two, three. I try to say goodbye. And He's I just giving me shit because my voice is worn out, man. I try to walk away and I stand tall. All right, with the last 10, 10 seconds, seconds, I want to say thank you, everyone, for listening. Keep following me at Poet801. You can follow me on Twitter, all that good shit. And thank you for listening and supporting the music. Shout out Free Radio Provo. Hell yeah. <laughs> you guys are fucking awesome, man. <laughs> We'd like to thank you all for joining us on another exciting episode of Free Radio Provo. Join us again for the next exciting exclusive episode of Free Radio Provo. And we'll turn you back to your regular scheduled Free Radio programming. Uh, <laughs>